Most people can agree mosquitoes are a nuisance at the very least, but they can also be dangerous, carrying diseases. That's why the regional district of Okanagan Similkameen has been operating a mosquito control program since 1974. In recent years, the program has seen an uptick in calls and areas that need to be treated, caused by climate change and floodwaters rising every spring. We are now having to start earlier and the areas that are flooded have grown exponentially. So what we used to treat would be under 100 hectares has now grown to be close to 1,000 hectares. The program uses helicopters and ground crews to distribute bacterial larvicide that doesn't harm fish or other wildlife. It simply interrupts mosquito larvae before they hatch. Kirk said there is plenty property owners can do as soon as the melt starts to happen in early spring to stop mosquitoes before they hatch. Look at any tires or buckets or ponds that may be harboring water that the ice is melting in and think about as soon as the temperature gets above 10 degrees that we need to be considering that mosquito larvae, the eggs, will be hatching. The program is facing new challenges as climate change affects the area new species of mosquitoes and new activity from those insects. And because of the vast areas of flooding now, it's actually most cost effective for the taxpayer to have us go out four to five times during the season with the helicopter and get those areas that is very difficult to get to on foot. The program will be continuing to use helicopters to treat affected areas, as well as adding one more vehicle to their ground crew in 2019. For Castanet News in Penticton, I'm Chelsea Powery.